She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So it's been a long time and finally we're back again with another video. I'm Clarice Bombase and I have a twin sister. We are a third year medical student of Our Lady of Fatima University. So for today's vlog, as you can see, we'll be answering questions posted on our YouTube. So okay, let's get started. First question, hi ate, what is your pre-med course po? Ang pre-med course po namin ay BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing. A short story lang, nung year na yon, so bago kami mag-board exam, sabi namin, sige pag nakapasa tayo sa board exam, first take, mag-medicine tayo. Luckily, we passed the board exam, so we did enroll. Tip lang sa mga sa gustong mag-medicine in the future, uh, take the NMAT or National Medical Admission Test. This is the parang entrance exam siya sa gustong mag-medicine. So for those of you who have plans on taking medicine in the future, before you graduate college, you should take NMAT na. Or in case na bumagsak ka sa first take, edi marami ka pang time to take the NMAT. Hindi tulad namin na uh, took the NMAT pa after we graduated. So may one year kaming nasayang instead of sana nakapag-enroll na kami. Eh, hindi pa kami nakapag-enroll kasi mag-NMAT pa lang kami. So yun. Um, next question is How much po ang tuition? Saktong-sakto kasi kaka-enroll ko lang. <laughs> Here. Tada! Kaka-enroll ko lang. Ang tuition namin hindi ko pa alam yung specific ni yung this year pero more or less 100,000 yung tuition sa Fatima. Pero nakita ko sa page ng Fatima, for first year medical students, 112,134 total fees for the first SEM school year 2021 to 2022. This is for the first SEM lang, hindi kasali yung for the second SEM. So more likely, parang ganun din, nag-range yung mga tuition fees. They have mga plan, plan A, plan B, plan C. For plan A, installment. Magbabayad ka sa prelims and midterms. Tapos, may additional na 500 pesos sa tuition. For plan B, um, you, you will pay for during prelims, midterms, and finals. Pero may additional na 100,000 kang babayaran. For full payment, sakto na ang babayaran mo. No additional charges. Di tulad ng plan A na may plus 500 and 1,000 for plan B. It's payable within the first week of classes. Hello, I'm Danny from USA Ufum Med First Year Student. As a matter of fact, a squeeze title that multiple choice or comprehensive questions and how many is question? Please tell me thank you. Oh my gosh, English! Uh, during online classes, our exams are uh, multiple type of questions maybe because they want us to prepare for the board exam which is a multiple type of questions. Pero natatandaan ko, during our clinical medicine exams, they gave us a notification and the spelling should be correct and that's the toughest part because sometimes um, canvas is sensitive the first letter should be the first letter should be um, capital or all all letters should be capital always be prepared for identification because maybe they'll give it as a surprise okay tama na hindi so sabihin na ako pero during our uh, first year face to face so I can still remember pa no first year face to face tapos may cadaver pa tapos may bell yung hindi ka pa nakakapagsulat tapos magiring na yung bell dapat tama yung spelling nice I miss face to face we were lucky because we were able to experience that milestone of a med student so yun our next question is Hello po, can you make a content po about UFO tuition fee, required and month score, and interviewing questions? Hey, hey, thanks po agad, and by the way, love your content. I'm Kilek. So, I already answered the tuition fees, required and month score. Ang required and month score nila, they have minimum score of 40. Pero if you will take the end match, syempre you will not settle for a minimum of 40. Syempre, aim higher, 90, 99. And during our medical jurisprudence, I ako na uh, even if you were able to finish your subjects in medicine, you will not be able to graduate kapag wala ka pang passing grade sa NMAT. So, do good during your NMAT. Yes, fighting. 
And interviewing questions nila. Ang tagal na nun. <laughs> After namin makompleto yung requirements, pumunta kami kagad sa Valenzuela, sa Ulfo. Then, pumunta kami sa registrars, tapos nagbayad sa accounting ng 1,000 pesos ata. Tapos, we waited for the interviewer na. Ang natatandaan ko lang, sobrang bait kasi ni Dok. Iba-iba kasi, depende kung sinong doktor ang mag-interview sa'yo. Pero sa amin, sobrang bait. Parang ang tinanong niya lang is, how was your college life, working experience, and also, ano pa ba? Ah, alam ko na. Ang dalawang tanong na hindi talaga mawawala first is, yung why medicine? Why did you choose to study medicine? Yun. And also, why next is why did you choose Ulfo? Why did you choose to study medicine in Our Lady of Fatima University? Ano ba sinagot ko doon? For the interview, you have to dress appropriately. You should not dress, um, you should not wear t-shirt. Siyempre, you have to wear a decent attire na parang you will look like a professional or a future doctor. So, and, and also, it's important that you stay confident but stay humble as well. Also, the most important avoid tardiness. Siyempre, dapat mas maana pa sa mag-i-interview. Pero for the online class, um, a good friend of mine tinanong ko kung paano mag-enroll ngayong online class na. Sinabi niya, kinontak niya yung admissions. So, we will just look for the page of Fatima sa Google. Tapos, makikita niyo doon ang admissions office contact number and email. So, you will just email the admissions and they will give you instructions on where to pay. Tapos, pag nakapagbayad ka na raw, may schedule ka na for interview. So, that's it. After the interview, okay naman yung NMAT score mo. They will tell you na, congratulations! Welcome to Fatima. You can now enroll. Ganon. Sobrang bait talaga nito. Kasi nag-interview sa akin. Very therapeutic. Very therapeutic ang presence niya. After noon, nagbayad na kami. Ang down payment pala is 20,000. If you will ask, 20,000. Pwede na yun. Additional information, medicine admission requirement. Must be a holder of any baccalaureate degree. So, kahit anong kurso, as long as it's four years. May classmate kami na piloto, HRM graduate. So, yan. Pwede yung mag-medicine. And also, original college transcript of records, certified two copy of college diploma and NMAT, photocopy of birth certificate, letter of recommendation, two copies, two by two picture, and a big craft envelope, one piece. Yan. That's it for today's vlog. If you have more questions, you can type it in the comment section and we'll try to answer it in our next vlog. And please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Bye! The Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa